Lesson 1, 2, Video 3. Methods for graphing lines in slope-intercept form. I mentioned in Video 1 about how we would use a slope-intercept form equation to graph. And I will reference that again here. We will first of all plot the y-intercept. We will then use the slope to find the next point. And we use the slope starting at the y-intercept. Don't forget, we don't go to the origin and use slope. We go to the y-intercept and use slope. And then it will go up if it's positive and down if it's negative, and we'll talk about that as we go further. And the funnest part is to draw the line, in other words, connect the two dots. So let's take a look at this. If we look at example 4 and 5, it asks us to identify the slope and y-intercept and then sketch it. Well, if we zoom in on this one, we talked about where these numbers are that we have to pay close, pay close attention to. The y-intercept is negative 3. The slope is negative 4 thirds. Now, as slope goes, we could put the negative with the numerator or the denominator. I will tend to put the negative number or the negative sign with the numerator. You could put it with the denominator, but you cannot put it with both. So I tend to put it with the numerator only. Now, if we take that information and graph it, the y-intercept is negative 3. So the y-intercept crosses is a point on the y-axis. From that y-intercept, we will use slope. Now remember, I put the negative with the numerator. And it is change in y over change in x, or in other words, rise over run. So from the y-intercept, I go down 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And I now have a positive 3 in the run part, so I will go to the right 3. And that is our next point. So we graphed our y-intercept, then we graphed our we use the slope to find our next point from the y-intercept, and that is our line. The next one, our y-intercept is negative 1, and our slope is 3. Now remember, slope is rise over run, so we must represent slope as a fraction. And 3 written as a fraction is 3 over 1. So our y-intercept is negative 1. Our slope is 3 over 1. So I'll go up 3 from the y-intercept and to the right 1. And that is our next point on our line. So we use those two points to graph our line. And that is using the slope-intercept equation or form to graph a line using slope and intercept. Very useful and very quick. This ends Lesson 1-2, Video 3.